Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today we're going to go over how to count a heart rate using the six second rule on an EKG strip. In the previous videos, I went over various heart rhythms and how to interpret those. I've also went over how to measure the PR intervals on an EKG strip and the QRS complex. So if you're interested in those videos, please check those out. But in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the six second rule in counting a heart rate on an EKG. There's various techniques you can use, but I find that the six second rule is the easiest, especially if your rhythm is irregular. Now on an EKG strip, you have your rhythm, which are those squiggly lines and the QRS complex. And then behind that, are little squares. Sometimes they're really hard to see, but they're very important whenever you're using the six second rule trying to count your atrial and ventricular rates, or you're counting your PR intervals, or your QRS complex. So they're very important because they measure time. And behind me, I have a blown up version of what one of those large squares look like. You have a large square, and inside that large square, you have small squares. And each small square represents a little fraction of time. One small square represents 0.04 seconds of time. And whenever you count up for your six second rule, you'll be counting these large squares. So 30 large squares equals six seconds because five small squares equals 0.2 zero seconds. So when you add up all these large squares, 30 of them, you get your six seconds. So what you're doing is you're looking at your strip, which I'll do an example behind me, and you're going to count either if you're counting for your atrial rate or your ventricular rate. If you're counting for your atrial rate, you're going to be looking at the P waves because the P waves are where your atriums contract. That represents that. And you would count every P wave in between 30 of the large squares. To do ventricular rate, you're looking at your R waves. That is the huge spike on the EKG where the QRS complex is. And this is where your ventriculars, your ventricles are depolarizing, meaning they're contracting. So you're gonna count 30 large squares in between those R waves. So behind me, let me show you how to do that. So behind me, I have an EKG strip. It's a six second strip and I have blown it up so I can show you how to calculate those 30 large squares. Typically on a little EKG strip, you'll see the squares and sometimes they're hard to see and you may need a magnifying glass if you don't have the best vision. But for teaching purposes, I've enlarged it and made it a little bit easier so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, behind me, we have this rhythm. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna count either your atrial or your ventricular rate. First, we'll start with our atrial rate. Remember, atrial rate is represented with your P waves because it represents atrial contraction. So we have a P wave here, 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 and here. So to use a six second rule, we're gonna start right where the, P, where the P wave is and start measuring the large squares and count till we get to 30 and stop and see how many P waves are in between that those 30 squares. So let's start counting. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So right here is where we'll stop. So we're gonna measure from here to here. And how many P waves do we have in between that? We have one, two, three, four. So you will take that number and multiply it by 10. 4 times 10 is 40, so we have an atrial rate of 40, which is slow. It's sinus brady, because the normal atrial rate is 60 to 100. Now let's count our ventricular rate. And remember, to do that, you do your R waves. You have the QRS complex. So let's count, let's look at our R waves. We have an R wave here, 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 and here. Now, R wave started here, and we're going to start right here and start counting 30 large squares, and then we'll count how many R waves presented between those 30 squares and multiply that by 10. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So let's count how many R waves presented. There was 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 R waves and you take that number and multiply it by 10. 4 times 10 
is 40. So we have a ventricular rate of 40. So that is how you use the six second rule. Very simple, all you have to do is count and look for your large blocks. So that is how you calculate a heart rate using the six second rule. I hope you found this useful. Be sure to check out our other EKG videos and helping you interpret EKGs. And be sure to go to our website, registerednursrn.com for free NCLEX quizzes and EKG quizzes to help you in nursing school. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.